Most people in America are familiar with the concept of ruining a man's name. There are people who will lie to law enforcement about their relationships with someone only to get out of their accountability of how they behaved with someone. Sometimes the people who've been stealing from someone will blame the victim and say that the victim did something wrong and that they did nothing wrong. And that's a lie, a blatant lie that they tell them. The other problem with what's happening to me is that I'm actually noticing intellectual copywritten work that I've had mainly for years on my computer drives and on my thumb drives actually coming onto my new little portable laptop that, are, that those things were on my thumb drives still stuck in the sheriff's department of the Marion County Jail at Indianapolis when they refused to give my bags, bags back to me. So my question is, who is it that's doing this? Did some college student decide to go across the state line and pick up my bags and then pretend to be me and lie about it? Or did some policeman decide to confiscate my stuff and then play around with my stuff and play around with me? I can't say. All I can say is that there's an illness in America that you think you have the right to deny me the return of my property in jail by some female working the booth. She refused to go and look for my stuff. She said, no, it's not here. And I sort of had the predict pred prediction or the uh, that that was going to happen based on the officer who was my daily, not quite daily, but almost daily care guy who had to take me down from the tower to my shower room. And his ne first name was Joshua. And his last name, I think, was Roberts. But at this point in time, because of all the audio engineering that people like to utilize in the world to make people forget and make people do things, like that, you know, age-old television show where they make somebody mind somebody and they make somebody cluck like a chicken, that's not me. But what I'm upset by is that people did not regard my Fourth Amendment rights, which was my property had to be returned to me, not given to anybody else. And I never got anything back from two bags worth of personal property, all of which was very personal, most of which was unreplaceable or irreplaceable. And frankly, because my mouth isn't working well, it's because of the manipulative malpractice and malfeasance that they put up on me when I only needed a maintenance of some hormonal health. And that's what's happened to me.